Hello everyone, I'm Rob the Mod. Welcome to part 44 of Gran Turismo 7 on the PlayStation 5. And I want to start this off by uh, asking if you guys are enjoying some of the other games on the channel. And I know Wreckfest is one of the games that's uh, coming out, but there's other games on the channel that I'm actually also doing. They're just older videos. They were previously released, and when on YouTube you make something uh, unlisted and then schedule it again, it doesn't actually show up in the subscription. So if you click on the community tab, I actually do a daily thing, or, well, twice daily technically, whenever I put out, uh, whenever the videos actually come out with this old stuff. So there's like Gran Turismo, not Gran Turismo, it's uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, Mario Golf on the Switch, and then Forza Horizon 5 on the Xbox One. And there's some other games as well. I can tell you what they are actually after I do this because I have it on my uh, other monitor. In fact, I could probably look over while we're driving if we get a nice straight line somewhere. Uh, problem is at the moment, I oh, it, I know Halo 3 or DST will be one of them. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. But yeah, there's a bunch of, uh, you know, all these different games that you guys probably aren't seeing if you're new to the channel and you're just seeing the uh, the Gran Turismo 7 and uh, Wreckfest ones. Oh, um, Pac-Man the Ghost Day Adventures as well. I mean, that's an old kids game on the 360. I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, I'll have a look. I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll tell you what they are after we do this, but we're we even going to get bronze here. I mean, I think we are, but Better get bronze. I don't think we're going to get gold. It's been a bit since I've actually played Gran Turismo 7 again. The reason I why I actually mention that is because I'm basically the uh, Forza Horizon 5. It was done on the Xbox One, like a base spec Xbox One, and the game really could not handle it. But uh, since uh, I did those videos, since I completely finished the game. I actually got a series, an Xbox Series X, and it came with the game and the DLCs. And I said I was going to go back to the game if I got the DLCs. Like if I'd ever purchased them or if I, you know, got them some other way. And, well, obviously now I can, so, you know, I will. That's, that, that's how that's going to work. I'm going to go back to Forza Horizon 5 and do the DLCs once that game has finished obviously. But we are going to get gold. Just. Just. Oh my god, that was amazing. Right, so uh, we have to press circle, don't we, on this? We can't press X because that doesn't bring up the menu. Right, so the games that are also coming out, and we're going to move on to this. Uh, but the yeah, the games that are out. Oh, how could I forget Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the Divinity Edition? Uh, Halo 3 ODST. Grand Theft Auto 4, Forza Horizon 5, Pac-Man The Ghostly Adventures, anything else? Um, Mar well, Mario Golf I mentioned. I think, um, oh no, yeah, most wanted finished, right. Whatever, we're going to move on. I don't know why I moved over to Hooked on America, because we haven't unlocked that yet. I think slowly over the course of like the next couple of months, because this is where I was increasing the amount of games I was doing. So I think there's like another game that like gets mi uh, mixed in with that at some point. Because I only used to do like two games at a time, which is kind of what it seems like at the moment, obviously, isn't it? With uh, with this and Wreckfest, but no, there is other games. The video is technically just being made re-available. Really, I should have made them all, like, re-available immediately. But I kind of did it that way because I wanted, it. I wanted like, a way to ease myself back into recording. Because it's when I kind of got a little bit disillusioned with, uh, you know, um, with recording. Because the channel wasn't really going anywhere. And I just, I just kind of, like... I'm going to take a break and I'm going to make all the videos private 
and now they're all unlisted again so but scheduled so they are coming out you just you guys just ain't seeing them in your subscription box like i said if you want to see what like these missing videos go on to the community tab and you'll see a, a thing basically twice a day whenever an old video comes out I scheduled that to come out at the same time as the schedule and to be honest whenever because youtube subscription doesn't really but like the subscription box doesn't work sometimes anyway that's probably the best way of actually keeping up with uh the channel and specific because the thing is th this is the other thing with uh doing like a youtube gaming channel if you do multiple games like i do like let's say you're into racing games Oh hell, let's just say you're into simulation games, right? So you're into, uh, you were into Gran Turismo 6, and you're into Gran Turismo 7. Now, you may not be interested in Wreckfest, even though it's a racing game. Now, if you're just a general racing game fan, you'll be interested in Wreckfest. But, you know, if you don't watch those Wreckfest videos, YouTube will stop recommending the channel, and it will stop recommending the Gran Turismo 7 videos to you. That's what I'm saying. If you click on the channel, even just once a week or whatever. Um, and then the community tab, you'll be able to find the Gran Turismo 7 video. Or you'll be able to find the Wreckfest videos if they're not showing up for you. Or, you know, whatever. Like, whatever game series there is. And that goes fine to the future, you know. when I'm, Whenever I'm doing these uh, Forza Horizon 5 DLCs and there'll be other racing games. Well, I mean, I'm doing all the Need for Speeds. But then I also want to do like all the Grand Trismos at some point. You know, so there's just loads of different games. Like, and then that's ignoring the other genres of games I want to do. So like if you're not interested in platformers, but you're interested in racing games, the YouTube's still going to stop you. Like it's going to stop recommending the gaming, uh, the uh, gaming videos, to, you know, the racing videos to you. Because that's just how it works. You have to watch every, like a channel, every channel's video. Every, ch every video from a channel to... Uh, it to continue to show up which i do think is a bit bullshit and it does kind of ruin variety gaming channels in my opinion are we even going to get runs here i feel like i've been driving too slow so i mean we are going to get bronze yeah but gonna get silver as well i don't think we're gonna get gold oh we're definitely not gonna get gold not unless we nope I'm gonna say unless we managed to pull off what we did in the last one but no silver it is ah well what? oh it's a bmw i was kind of confused at <coughs> like what that looked like then Right, Pork Dawn America. We're going to just try and finish all this. And then we finish the music rally stuff. This is also going to be the last video um, that I do with Grand Turismo 7 that has no face cam. Because next week, the next Grand Turismo 7 video, it's going to have face cam because... I said I wasn't effectively. Effectively, I wasn't going to do any uh, videos before the face reveal that I ended up doing in Wreckfest. So, yeah, because that face reveal happens like within this week, then um, yeah, this is the last Gran Turismo Seven that doesn't have face cam, which is a bit weird. Um, considering I know what that video is going to be, it's literally just going to be me buying cars. Completing some of the extra menu books to uh, so I can get my collector level up. Oh, it's this track. I just remember what this is. You know, the one that we raced on Super Formula and we did on, uh, I think it was on Neo Classic. I feel like... This wasn't used much throughout the campaign, and then it just seems to be used a lot more. Maybe it was a DLC one, I don't know.
I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever heard the song in my life. And I've heard Hooked on Classics before. Maybe this is just more known in America, I don't know. Do you actually have Hooked on Classics on CD, which is actually, yeah. So, you know, when I was doing live streams and you get this, the song thing on the bottom, bottom left, um, that could actually happen. Out the way. One, I at least want bronze. Oh, we're getting some speed. I, I, I just looked at my speedometer because the. Uh... Oh, that was you stupid idiot. Um, the microphone's in the way. Of the speedometer. Definitely getting bronze at least. Here we go. I don't know if we are going to get. Uh... Gold. I want to. Come on. Yes, we have. Right. Life's coming in slow, and then we got the last one. Now, supposedly they are adding more of these in the DLCs, for the, or the updates to this game, I should say. I don't know if that's actually happened or not. They said they were going to, and I can't remember if there was 12 or not. The start, or if it was actually only 6. Come on, Lamborghini. Oh, as he uh, manages to outbreak me anyway. This Ferrari F40. I really like the F50 actually. I know it's a weird designed car, but I, I do actually really like the F50, which is a weird thing to say because I know a lot of people don't. But I think it's from playing Outrun 2006 when I was younger. Because I've never seen one in like real life. I've, weirdly, I've actually seen a Enzo in real life. Like, I'm, when I say in real life, I literally mean like driving on a public road. And I've seen a bunch of Lamborghinis. But you know, being in the UK where. You know, basically, well, football, really. Um, I mean, I hope that by the time this video comes out, well, no, not by the time this video comes out, because that won't make any sense. Um, but, like, I hope this season, I guess, my team gets promoted from the Championship to the Premier League. 
that's what I should say, as a fan of a, uh, a championship team. What I was thinking of there is, because I'm recording stuff that's like two years in advance. That's how far ahead I am, by the way. Like, when you guys see this, all of September 2026 will be scheduled. It's just certain games like this where there's like continuing updates. Or like... Um, I didn't even realize the length of the song there. Or even... Or like, as I mentioned earlier, um... Forza Horizon 5. Right? Like, with the DLCs. They're going to be bonus videos because it's... You know, <clears throat> they're going to be bonus videos. Because I want to, like, keep those at the same time as the original... Uploads, I guess. Even though they're going to be, like, you know, a little bit... Um... I don't know what... I don't really know how... You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to keep them with the, like, original release updates instead of... Delaying them, I guess, would be the correct term. I don't want to delay them from... I don't want to put them on a hiatus. That, that's really the term that I should really... Oh, will you stop blocking me? Am I just never going to be able to overtake this BMW M3? There we go. I just realised where in bloody Nürburgring we started. It's this corner that's like... I hate where I always go off. Oh god, the car just... What are we... Oh, we're driving the 911, aren't we? I think. Yeah, we're driving an old school 911. No wonder it slid out from the back. I think it was actually there where I nearly always go off. Or was it round here? No, I think it was that section. But yeah, I, I released these... Like, I could have put, effectively, these videos on a delay, you know? And waited for another slot to open, and then just... Effectively restarted Gran Turismo 7 after a hiatus. But I decided, no, I'm going to release these as bonus videos. And that's going to be how it's going to work with uh, Forza Horizon 5. With the DLCs. It's how it worked with uh, Gran Turismo 6. Like, you'll see in some of the early ones, I actually mention, you know, oh, it's back. And that's because it was on a hiatus. And then when I made these, like, re-available, like, I... Effectively, I started recording those. And then... That... I kind of then put it on a high... I, I then... That's when I kind of got a little bit sick of the channel. And I was like, okay, I'm going to stop now. But I already had them, so when I made them re-available, that's when I decided, oh, I'm going to actually move those. So, just because there's no point just having them be... Like, making Gran Turismo 6 be on a hiatus again, and then making, you know, making people wait. I may as well make Gran Turismo 6 just carry on immediately. This car's only got a four-speed gearbox, really? I thought it would at least be five-speed. Oh, oh god. That was bad. Oh, 
Oh man, we were 0.1 miles off. If I hadn't hit the brakes, I would have probably made that. Ah. Oh, God damn it. Ah well. So that's all of them so far. If there's any more music rallies that do get added as DLCs, I will be doing it. But uh, yeah, I have been Rob the Mod. Thank you very much for watching part 44 of Gran Turismo 7 on the PlayStation 3. Uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 5. And I will be seeing you next time for more, hopefully. Hurrah.